Let's step into the shadowy realm of World War II espionage when female spies bravely walk the thin line between life and death. These courageous women played incredible roles in gathering vital intelligence, but what awaited them when their secret identities were exposed? Brace yourself for a journey through time as we uncover the shocking and humiliating penalties imposed on these brave women, leaving you questioning everything you thought you knew about espionage in World War II. What secrets will we unveil? How did their sacrifices affect the course of history? The roles played by female spies during World War II varied as much as the nations they served for. These courageous women accepted the difficulties of espionage and reconnaissance, sneaking beyond enemy lines to acquire crucial information on strategies, personnel, and weaponry. They expertly obtained vital information from their targets by disguising themselves as common citizens or modest service personnel like seamstresses, maids, or clerks. These remarkable ladies underwent enormous risk as they set out on their dangerous missions, driven by a strong sense of duty and a passionate desire to support the war effort. Yet they faced extra challenges on top of the inescapable risks. Discrimination, harassment, and the continual need to keep their cover only complicated and increased the risk of their already difficult job. Because of their gender, they were subject to manipulation as propagandists exploited society's expectations and stereotypes. They were thus usually seen as being receptive to propaganda and faced specific risks as female field operatives. Throughout history, anyone suspected of resistance was subjected to torture and physical assault to obtain crucial information, including beatings, electric shocks, and waterboarding. Women worldwide received additional penalties and were subjected to discrimination, exploitation, and sexual abuse in various circumstances, including unjust trials, imprisonment, and even death, and were brutalized, raped, and abused by soldiers, captors, and other prisoners. Female spies of World War II, their daring deeds and tragic fates. Beneath the spotlight of history, World War II saw not only the achievements of male figures, but also the unsung bravery of numerous female spies who helped to shape the course of the war. Their vital roles remain hidden, awaiting recognition. Noor Iniat Khan was a British Indian Muslim woman who served as a special operations executive agent in occupied France during World War II. She was the first female wireless operator to be sent from the UK into France and played a key role in the French resistance. Virginia Hall, an American spy, worked with the Special Operations Executive of the UK and the US Office of Strategic Services, and she played a crucial role in France during World War II. She established a crucial spy network and was known for her excellent espionage abilities, which made a vital contribution to the liberation of France from Nazi rule. Christina Skarbek, the brave Polish-born agent, also known by her wartime secret agent name Christine Granville, served as a vital member of the British Special Operations Executive during World War II. With her audacity and ingenuity, she developed a great intelligence network in Poland and served as a vital courier for the French resistance, making a substantial contribution to the Allied war against the enemy. Josephine Baker, the renowned singer, dancer, and actress, took on a secret role as a spy for the French resistance in World War II. Using her global fame, she became an invaluable asset gathering data on Nazi operations and secretly supporting the resistance by smuggling important information and supplies. However, female spies who were captured faced a bleak future, with torture and execution being very real possibilities. While the fate of women taken prisoner by the Gestapo was far worse, female spies working for the Allies were imprisoned and used as bargaining chips in talks for prisoners of war. Their bravery and sacrifice were taken advantage of, leaving them in the custody of their captors with an uncertain future. Gestapo's Grasp – The Horrifying Torture Endured by Captured Souls The German secret police force, the Gestapo, had a reputation for their ruthless treatment of female spies in the dangerous field of espionage. They used a sinister mix of physical and psychological torture to break the stubborn spirit of these strong operatives who had been rigorously trained to withstand the very tactics used against them. The Gestapo's relentless search for intelligence pushed these women to their limits, putting their willpower to the test and calling the very foundation of their secret life into question. Now, let's quickly delve into the captivating story of Noor Iniat Khan and the heart-wrenching tale of her capture by the Gestapo. Noor Iniat Khan, an extraordinary and multifaceted figure, defied the odds during World War II. 
Born to a Russian Indian father and an American mother, she had an aristocratic upbringing and a unique mix of abilities, including horsemanship and marksmanship. Noor joined the British Special Operations Executive and set off on a dangerous mission as the first female wireless operator in occupied France. Her codename, Madeleine, masked her persistent efforts to collect essential intelligence and deliver vital messages to the Allies. Noor's fluency in French and comprehensive knowledge of Paris were important assets that made it possible to provide weapons and explosives to the resistance. Her unwavering courage and resilience prevailed despite being in continual danger and fleeing capture several times. However, Noor's luck ran out in October 1943 when she was betrayed and detained by the Gestapo at her Paris residence. After that, Noor was brought to the German security headquarters. Unfortunately, she was unable to deactivate the codes that were kept hidden in her flat before the Gestapo found them, and as a result, they created fake messages that mimicked her conversations with the Special Operations Executive in London. She bravely refused to give her captors any information, although she was being tortured and interrogated non-stop. Despite two brave escape attempts, Noor was ultimately imprisoned in solitary confinement for ten grueling months in a German jail under harsh conditions. Tragically, her unbreakable spirit could not save her, and she was executed at the Dachau concentration camp on September 13, 1944, at the age of 30. The George Cross was awarded to Noor Inayat Khan posthumously for her outstanding bravery and unshakable dedication, making her the first spy of Indian origin to have such a distinction. Her legacy, which honors her efforts to the cause of the Allies forever, shines brilliantly as a symbol of bravery and sacrifice. The fates of the brave female SOE agents, like Odette Sansom and Violette Sabo, took a dark turn when they were captured and forced to endure torture in concentration camps. Odette Sansom was a British SOE agent who was captured by the Gestapo in France during World War II and tortured and imprisoned for over a year, and Violette Szabo was a British-French SOE agent who was captured by the German army after a gun battle was taken to Fresnes Prison, where she was interrogated and tortured before being deported to Ravensbrück concentration camp in Germany. While Sansom managed to survive the ordeal, the story of Szabo ended in tragedy as she met her untimely demise at Ravensbrück. World War II's Unsung Heroes – The Stories You Never Heard The courage and bravery of female spies in the face of harsh treatment highlights their vital role in gathering intelligence that contributed to the overall victory of the war. Their efforts aided the underground resistance and British intelligence, shaping key historical events. One such incident was Operation Overlord, commonly known as D-Day, which was largely reliant on spy-gathered intelligence to succeed. The invasion of Normandy on June 6, 1944 was largely successful with the help of the finest available intelligence acquired by spies, many of whom were female. Germany's creation of the V-1 and V-2 rockets is yet another example of the critical part that intelligence gathering played during World War II. Christina Skarbek, a Polish spy, obtained information on the V-2 rocket programs, including the activities and locations of the factories making them. This knowledge was crucial to the Allies, who used it to carry out bombing attacks and other sabotage operations. Intelligence activities were also critical in the invasion of Italy, which saw some of the heaviest engagements in the Atlantic theater. British spy Noor Inayat Khan supplied key dispatches that allowed the invasion to take place, and without her, the invasion of Italy would not have been possible. These examples show how quiet, anonymous actors working in the background may frequently make an important difference in the bigger picture. They are not looking for fame, recognition, or credit. Their selfless efforts are for the greater benefit. Female spies suffered unspeakable hardships during World War II, including torture and being used as test subjects for brutal experiments. They were subjected to tests studying diseases, toxins, drugs, and surgery. Scientists injected them with malaria, typhus, and TB, gave them experimental medications, and conducted unneeded surgeries. Some suffered serious injuries and organ damage due to exposure to low-pressure chambers and high altitudes. Shockingly, they were even used to test deadly chemicals like Zyklon B, which was later used during the Holocaust. These brave ladies endured unimaginable horrors in the name of justice and freedom. Their bravery and sacrifice should never be forgotten. How do you feel about the extreme measures the enemy forces took during that time? Do you think the sacrifices of these brave women 
have received enough recognition in history? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys soon.